Hey ho everyone, it is the Loki Monster here and get ready for a little space madness as we take our first out of this world adventure to Lore's Moon. Now this falls just after Moon Day, which was the anniversary when Neil Armstrong took his first steps on the moon on July 20th, 1969, when he spoke those famous words heard around the world, one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. But before we take our first step on the moon, let's check out what got added to the summer collection. Yes, the Null Gas Swimsuit is now available. And this is really a nice design for the women. The men's is very simple, but the tattoos are spectacular on this. Now to start our mission to the moon, we're just going to hop over here and see Warlick on this side of the bridge and just click go meet him in his shop. Or you could just use your travel menu and travel to Babylon and the magic shop. Now we're just going to scroll way down this list to the very bottom where we will find a new quest called a distress signal. Now when you click on that it will trigger a cutscene and then take you straight to the moon. You can see lore, isn't that amazing? This is really beautiful i know it's a little jerky it's hard to do this on mobile smoothly especially when you're running on very high for mobile and running a screen recorder at the same time because this map is laggy i recommend to my fellow mobile users to drop your graphics to low so here we have our first quest and it is to find the source of a distress signal so we're just going to accept that and head over to the crash ship to talk to our new NPC, James McAllister. So we discovered that James and his crew somehow crash landed their ship on the moon and their moon is covered in zenith ice but he blacked out he has no idea where anyone is and he wants your help to repair the ship. So our first quest will be to find six parts for the ship but before we head over there just want to point out that there is a crystal here that will return you to town or to Warlick's shop. And we also have Buddy here, and this is where you can buy your Lunar Gear for DC. You can buy a Buddy pet, that's him there. And uh, I'm actually just going to go ahead and buy the whole Corrupted set here, so I can show it to you. Oh my gosh, the Fluffles! Now, these are the Darkon next to me here, the new Darkon uh, creatures that you can get from the Hero Mart rewards from Strife. And the best way to get to Strife is go to the Battle Hall and then just exit. So this is the Corrupted set, and as you see, there is no armor. Now the armor drops, and it's one armor that goes with all the sets. I'll show you that armor when I actually get it dropped. So let's check out some of the crafting. Now, we do have a set that drops, that's the set that you saw James wearing, the silver set. And then we have a sussy set. <laughs> I used to play a lot of Among Us. And it is a bright red set. And then we have a shadow set. And it is a black and gray set by the looks of it. And a bounty set, which is a dirtier red but it also includes gold pieces. So there was actually no image of this in the news, so I'll actually show you this set. And then we have a mist set, and it is purple, and I really want this set. And then we have a rune set, which is kind of a bluey greenish color. And then we also have a wolf set, which is again, a darker red, and this time with gray, and a little bit of gold accent. So these are the sets and as you see the corrupt's not here and there is one at the very end that you haven't seen yet, the vector set. Now this set is a droppable set and also this set is a dropped set as well and it is a guardian set called 117 
I suppose they had to put in a Halo Easter egg. So we're going to follow the quest arrow in the right hand corner and it will indicate where we're going. We saw a yellow beam of light there. But unfortunately, you know, here's another one. When you uh, click on these, only one person can click on them at a time. So the first person who clicks on them is the only person to get them. They take a long time to respawn and they're far apart. It's kind of a bit aggravating, especially if it's a lot of people looking for them. I actually had to switch servers because I wasn't getting any on red. Anyway, so once you have six, just hand that in. So our next quest is to kill 12 of the Xeno Grunts and they are located in this little outcropping over here by these rocks. They're fairly easy to take out. Um, they drop almost all of the explorer gear that you need to do the crafting. Um, this is the bodysuit here and it is a stat drop. The max power is 7 20 is the best you can get and it actually is not bad stats and we also have the xenocyte sword and daggers these also drop in the um cosmic cutter quest with yulger so once you've killed 12 you can return to james and hand that in now you're going to have to locate the three hives and now this is again just like the ship parts where you're going to have to travel a long distance to get them and I was not aware when I was doing this <laughs> when I got to here I couldn't see up the hill and didn't realize it was going to be taken so if you see someone already heading towards one you might want to try to find a different one so when you found all three of those we're just going to head back and we get our next quest, which is to find an officer and a data log. Now, apparently we found these officer's tags. I didn't have anything say I found any tags, so I guess this is just something they wrote in. Um, anyways, once you follow the arrows, you'll find the officer. And then just really close near him, just follow the arrow again, is the data log. Now, this is where the story starts to unfold, and it's a pretty grim story. So anyways, I'm not going to show you any of the story here. I don't want to spoil it, but that was the communication officer you found, and his radio is missing, and they need that radio. So now we're going to check one of the Xenothites to find out if we can get it. Now this quest is RNG, so you might have to quill quite a few before you get it. Once you have that, you're going to have to try to fix it because it's broken. So he's going to send you over to Buddy the Helper Robot here. And Buddy says, well, he needs a bunch of screws, but they're all missing. Hmm. So back to kill more Zenith Ice for the screws. And then once you have 10, hand that in. And then this time... He needs more copper wires. Now, this time it says the guards. Now, the guards are actually the blue Cena slides. So, you're going to have to come up here. Now, the blue ones also are better for dropping the back piece and the helm, as well as a lot more of the Nova Gems. So, once you have six of them, you are now going to need to find the power amplifier. Now, why would an alien go off with a power amplifier? Well, that would be giving away some of the story. Anyways, the power amplifier is with the outcast. Now, this outcast also drops the vector set. That's the black and green matrix looking type of set. Now, it only spawns, I think it's every 10 minutes and in three different random locations that I've seen, it may be more. It will come up on the screen that an outcast has been spotted and uh, you're gonna have to run for it so use your travel form and that is also a random drop by the way so now we have the radio fix we're going to follow this signal and this signal is actually over by where the xenophobes are xenophobes xenocise <laughs> xenophobe oh my gosh and then we want to investigate the signal. <laughs> Though I do suppose these aliens are a bit xenophobe. They do seem to hate humans quite a bit. Anyways, our next part is to uh, find all of the officers. Now I'm going to show you that because 
it is a lot of running around. So anyways, once you've found them all, their next quest is to kill the Zenid Hybrid. And when you find him, you'll just kill him. No wonder these guys don't like us. We haven't once tried to talk to them. And he has the most wicked drops, his head and his tail. Now right here you'll get a quest right away and it's to find the helmet, which again, only one person can get. I had a person there ahead of me, so it failed and now I have to wait for it to respawn. And once I find the helmet, I just need to go around the corner and get this data log as well. Now that I've gotten both, I just turn them in and now it's time to kill the queen and four of her guards. Now this is the final quest and it will unlock the title Lunar Explorer when you complete it. Now I somehow ended up having to face off against the queen solo. Yes, she is solo bow. It does take quite a long time, like four minutes for me to actually finish this. And I purposely pulled her away from the rest of the guards so I didn't have to deal with them. But normally this is the best spot to farm. You want to sit here and kill the guards and the queen. There should be tons of people farming here. I just ended up in an old instance that most people had left. Now the queen drops the elusive guardian 117 set. Now both it and the vector set are both extremely low drop rates. Also, I just wanted to mention with the vector set and the outcast, it actually spawns in four locations. Now I just need to kill my guards here and then back to hand that in. Once you hand it in, it will say more Xeno stuff Go talk to his buddy Yogurt. Now this is just the Cosmic Cutter quest. This is not a new quest. It has been confusing a lot of people. And I just wanted to take a second to thank you for joining me. And if you like my videos, hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Goodbye.